Well, the beauty of conference tournaments is that it's a great time to get revenge. East Rockingham lost both of its games to Riverheads during the regular season. Tonight, these two met for the third time with a C-36 title on the line. Undefeated Riverheads trying to take home the conference 36 crown. We pick it up in the bottom of the seventh. Red Pride down 5-2. to two. East Rock pitcher Noah Brown was sensational tonight. He gets the first batter in the seventh swinging. Then next up is Billy Coffin, but he's robbed on the brilliant catch by Isaac Dean. He'd stay in the game after getting out number two. Then last chance for the Gladiators, Kyle Bishop. He grounds out and the game is over. East Rock takes down the undefeated Gladiators to win the conference 36 title. Riverheads also hosting the conference softball title game this afternoon, taking on Buffalo Gap. Top three, no score. Destiny Harper drills a laser through the infield and into left. Sierra Clifton comes around to score from second. The Bison strike first. They lead 1-0. But bottom of the third, Courtney Oliver drives one to the back corner of right field. That run would tie the game. The Gladiators would go on to win 3-2 to capture conference 36. Fort Defiance and Broadway finally getting their C-29 semifinal in after two days of delays. Bottom fourth, Indians in scoring position and a wild pitch opens the door for Alexis Pullen. The senior races home to give Fort a 3-0 lead. Then the last chance for the Gobblers, Morgan Landis grounds it to right. The Indians make the final out. Megan Good finishing with 14 strikeouts as Fort advances to play Turner Ashby tomorrow afternoon. Elsewhere. In playoff action tonight, Harrisonburg fall, falling just short to Charlottesville, 3-2 to two in the boys' soccer C-23 final. So the Blue Streaks will begin regionals on the road next week. Meanwhile, Luray advances to the Conference 35 final, handing Madison its second loss of the year, kicking the Lady Mountaineers out of the postseason with a 2-1 to one win. Well, you know, Valley Baseball is back when kids dressed up as food race each other. The Turks home opener against New Market. Bottom of the first, we start Eric Kaupflesch with a sacrifice grounder to bring Thomas Spitz home and Harrisonburg on the board first. Then watch closely. Yep. Hunter King at the plate and his bat disappears. Bob Weiss, 13th season as manager, tells Hunter, yeah, you're going to need that. Sixth inning, it's tied at one. Darian Carpenter with a nice rip into left field. Newmarket taking the lead. But after our cameras leave, the Turks would rally from behind to win the opener in walk-off fashion, 5-4. to four. The Stanton Braves rocking the camo uniforms for their opener tonight, hosting Strasburg at Gypsy Hill. Braves in trouble early, 1-0 top of the first. Joe Camp grounds out to second, but he drives in. Sky Overton for the score. Express jumping on the Braves and Stanton 2 0 the score through one. Bottom of the second, Elliot McCumming slips one past the first baseman to drive in a run, but Strasburg gets the win. 9 6 is the final. UVA baseball hasn't lost the opening game of regional since 2008. Bucknell, the first opponent for the Hoos. Let's head to the top of the third. UVA up 2-0. Derek Fisher grounds this to left, but Sam Clark throws it away. And that lets Mike Poppy score to give the home team a 3-0 lead. Sixth inning, the bases are loaded. Two outs, it's Fisher again. He goes up the middle for a double. Brandon Cogswell and Nate Irving score to make it 7-0. UVA would go into the double digits, bulldozing Bucknell 10 to one, the Hoos will play Arkansas in the winner's bracket. If you look at our lineup one through nine, even if they didn't have a hit, somebody, everybody in our lineup did something to help our team win offensively today. It's part of what we do, and we take a lot of pride in it. And every every guy in that locker room takes a lot of pride in, you know, getting a butt down to move a teammate over, or you know, putting a hit and run in play, or scoring a guy from third. It's all part of who we are as a team, and it's all part of our identity. And finally tonight, basketball fans, the Miami Heat have won game six to beat the Pacers. They advance to the NBA Finals. They'll face either San Antonio or Oklahoma City. NBA Finals, by the way, on this channel, TV3, starts Thursday. Great. Thank you, David.